Hi Capricorn, welcome to Carol's Universe Tower Readings, Tower Readings from the Heart. Really good that you guys can join me today. So today is your love reading, it's your six month love forecast and this uh, reading ranges between February and July 2016. This is not a Valentine's reading but I'm starting them in the month of Valentine's okay so this isn't a reading. Sorry if you can hear noises outside my window it's so hard recording from where i am because there's always somebody banging or doing something and it's just like oh god when am i ever going to have any peace just to get on and try and do my recording anyway if you can bear with the noise please do there's nothing i can really do about it but let's proceed with your let's proceed with your reading um how i do the readings is uh I pick initially nine cards and i never look at what the cards are so i don't know what they are i just meditate on the cards shuffle meditate and then cut the deck bring it back together and then pick the cards all face down then i meditate again and i ask the universe if it will give me clarity on each of those nine so i will set down a clarification card next to each of those cards the clarification card will all will usually show me why i've received the first card what's the reason for it will all enhance the meaning of it so it might be that the first card that i've put down is in relation to another person okay a relationship that type of thing so i hope that makes sense to you guys so essentially it's kind of like an 18 cross an 18 card spread and i'm an intuitive reader so i just use my intuition to guide me from left to right um to have a look at the energies that are coming in uh and and usually when we go for the left it's usually something that's potentially passed beforehand and we just work our way right across to the right um of the reading to the far end of the reading to, to see how everything's going to kind of culminate so i hope that makes sense to you capricorn what i'm seeing is is that i feel that uh in 2016 between february and july some of you guys are going to be taking a risk um i feel that you uh, potentially for some of you guys you may have been in a previous relationship or if you're still in a relationship it might be a relationship that needs some breathing space uh it might be a relationship where there has been um a sense of distrust potentially um and i do feel that some of you guys um may need some space or you may need i'm sensing that maybe for some of you guys in the past or could potentially be now for some of you guys uh there could have been arguments or disagreements because we have uh nine of wands showing up hope that you can see that card guys and we also have the page of wands showing up as well now page of wands is the first card that was drawn and the nine of wands was the clarifier and for me it was kind of like you know somebody wants to take a risk here this could be a new relationship that comes in so if some of you guys it might have been that for some time you haven't wanted to get involved with anyone because you've been through something in the past. Could have been with a past failed relationship, something like that. Page of Wands can often be a very, um, a very kind of exciting relationship. Something that sort of comes in out of the blue. It's usually, the Page of Wands is usually the card about good news arriving. So it's usually something that you've been waiting for. It finally arrives. So it could be... Uh, during this next six months you've been waiting to hear from a particular person uh, and maybe the nine of wands is kind of uh, where there has been you have been maybe trepidatious or you have been um what's the word there is a, there is an element of kind of not trusting the situation maybe this person has taken some time to get back to you or to contact you again and all of a sudden uh, when you see wands if you were to ask a question will so and so contact me uh, and if you've got a Wands card, like the Page of Wands, or even the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands usually means leaving. But usually if you're asking, will so-and-so contact me again? And you get the Knight of Wands, it means that this person can be coming back, okay? Because they're quite swift. It's a swift energy. Or if you've got something like the Knight of Swords, it means, yes, there's going to be contact. Or even the Page of Swords, potential contact, because they're messenger cards. So I feel for some of you guys, you're going to be getting uh, some form of a message, maybe, uh, from something that you've potentially had even given up on, Um in the past for some of you and i feel that that's if you're single i feel that if you are in a relationship and um <laughs> you've been going through a time of difficulty in that relationship i feel that um you may kind of just give yourself a little bit of breathing space i feel over the next six months because we do have that nine of wands and the page of wands the page of wands is also a travel card so that can literally mean traveling a distance or going somewhere foreign or um going on a foreign journey that type of thing um 
for some of you guys i'm seeing over the next six months potentially i feel that there'll be a, a relationship that is um started up within uh work a new job or potentially within uh college so if you're going to college i don't know when semesters and things like that start um i know when they start in the uk uh but literally it could be you're going into a new educational program and you meet someone um because we do have the eight of pentacles here and this can literally be a card of meeting someone okay a, a seminar or a workshop or um, an establishment or through work a new job we also have that was the clarifying card so we have the page of swords this could be represent a person coming in gemini libra aquarius okay individual somebody potentially that you do meet through work this person could be really intelligent really intelligent they're usually quite studious and it's funny how we have two cards that speak about students so i feel that if you are going uh if you are especially if you're single and you are going away to study i do feel strongly and plus we have the page of ones which is a journey card it's literally taking a trip i do literally feel that uh, for some of you guys you are going to meet new romance over the next six months whilst away potentially overseas study um it doesn't have to be overseas though but i am seeing like education and love kind of rolled into one for some of you capricorns I do feel that uh, for some of you guys, if you're committed relationships and especially if the relationship, you kind of have a inkling that the relationship isn't really going to go the way that you want it to go, Capricorn. I do feel that, you know, there will be um, some distance between you and your partner. OK, for some of you guys, not all of you. So don't go coming back and saying, oh, God, what did you say that for? You know, it's up to you. This is a general reading and it doesn't apply to everyone as i always say capricorn i always stress it it simply doesn't apply to everyone so please 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 don't let this be on your mind over the next six months i do see some distance though for some of you guys in terms of relationships that are not working out by the way okay that are not working out i do see some distance because we have the five of pentacles and the clarification card that was pulled for this was the two of wands uh, in terms of love, this suggests to me some form of detachment. It suggests to me some form of distance because the two of wands can literally be uh, a journey. And it can also be two people uh, who are kind of like on do two different paths. It is the two of wands. So the twos in the um, in the tarot often uh, represents imbalance some of the time, trying to work something out. They can represent duality. They can represent trying to make a decision. So I feel that there's going to be uh, some space, some breathing space. And maybe this is why we, where we see the nine of wands and the page of wands. It's literally taking a risk on something. It's literally just kind of like making movement, making moves through a difficult situation or through a testing situation. The nines are all about tests a lot of the time, as well as solitude. Um, not all about tests, but they are, they can indi indicate testing situations like the nine of wands does. Okay. And the Nine of Swords, for example. Two people that look quite anxious. Um, so I feel that literally with that page of wands, if this is a case of kind of just taking a leap of faith on something or just saying, you know what, I'm just going to kind of uh, look in a different direction for a little while uh, because this is really getting, you know, really exhausting me. I, I'm sensing exhaustion from some of you guys over the next six months in a relationship. And I feel that this will be because of the page of swords. Page of Swords in terms of um, energy can often represent um, challenging verbal uh, communication, okay? And I feel that it's because uh, sometimes in relations, we, we relationships, they become really monotonous and they become really kind of um, samey and there's no change. And how I know this is because I know that if there are any arguments with that Page of Swords or challenging uh, verbal communication, it's because of this the eight of pentacles it could be because your partner works so hard and they don't pay you much attention for example so it could be with the page of wands that you look for your um you look to get for some of you capricorn people you might look to get your kicks somewhere else you might look to get your excitement somewhere else you might be a bit of an excitement junkie so there might be for some of you guys a little bit of boredom with your with your partner if you are in a committed relationship and if you do if you recognize the symptoms that i'm talking about right now I'm not saying that if you're in a perfectly healthy, good relationship that this occurs. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that if you're in a relationship where you're recognising certain traits of what I'm talking about, it could be that there is a high level of boredom going on here. And within you, some of you guys, you may want just to have that little bit of excitement. So, 
you know, there might be some difficulty with communication, I'm sensing, in some of your relationships. And I feel that this is either because maybe your partner is a workaholic or maybe it's just too boring. Maybe they don't pay you enough attention. Maybe you're the one on the page of swords saying, pay me some attention, and this person isn't paying you any attention. And I feel that uh, there is some detachment. There are going to be kind of some separations maybe and some kind of distance between some of your relationships, especially if they're just not, if you're not feeling that you're uh, being valued or that uh, somebody's recognizing what your worth is. I feel that for some of you guys, you're going to make the decision to kind of walk out of a relationship or at least just separate yourself from a time and go on a, a new journey. Okay. Just try other things out. And I feel that, that some of you guys are going to be trying other things out in terms of relationships because we do have that page of wands and we also have the two of wands as well. This suggests to me, uh, when I look at this card in terms of love and relationships, it can represent a new partnership coming in. But more than anything, for me, it represents going on a new journey. This person has the globe in their hand and they're searching for something. So I see this card as a searching card, looking, um, just looking for something that can fulfill you, something that matches you, something that makes you feel uh, right. And I feel that for some of you guys, why we have the five of pentacles here is because you may, for some of you guys, be feeling that lack of support in a relationship because we do have that person on the page of swords looking at the over at the guy on the eight of pentacles. They want to get this man's attention here. So for some of you guys, you might literally just look to say, you know what, I don't feel supported in this relationship. So through the two of wands, I'm actually going to go out there on another journey and experience a few things, which is we see in the page of wands. So I am seeing that some of you guys are, if you, especially if you're in a relationship that's not really working out right now, Capricorn, you are going to be looking to experience other people and other things. Okay, because, um, and for some of you guys, this might be an affair. I've got to be honest from what I'm feeling with the cards. And for some of you guys, it might literally be where you say to your partner, you know what, we need some time out, really need some time out. I need to just go and experience my own shit. You need to go and do your own shit and we'll see where we are six months down the track or whatever. Okay, that's what I'm sensing here with some of you guys. Um, I feel that if you're single, uh, you know, there's going to be this real emphasis on, uh, I feel that you're going to feel a really close affinity with someone. Um, Capricorn, I really do. Um, I feel that you're really going to feel a sense of uh, closeness with someone and a, a sense of camaraderie in a way. Um, and this is because, you know, the page of wands can often infer a new relationship that just comes sailing into your life. And expectantly, a lot of the time, it's something you've been wishing and hoping and praying for and suddenly it arrives. That's what your page of wands does. OK, but it's something I feel there's an element of surprise here because you don't believe it. You don't believe it's possible for some of you guys because we've got the nine of wands there. This is the nine, the, 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 the card of kind of um, I don't trust something or I'm on, on my guard about something or I'm overly defensive. It's a card about not letting your defenses down as well because you're overly defensive. You're overly protective of your territory. So for some of you guys, you might have been on your own for quite some time because you didn't trust someone or you didn't trust something. But all of a sudden, we're seeing with the page of one, some of you guys are taking a risk on something. Um, and I feel that you're going to want to be learning everything that you can about this person. I feel that this will be a relationship that you heavily focus on. Um, page of Swords can also be a card about research and finding things out. It can also be about spying. So uh, I'm looking at the Page of Swords, looking over this guy on the Eight of Pentacles, and it's almost like he's completely um, immersed into his work. But the Page of Swords is looking over at this guy, and it's almost like, I want to find out a little bit more about that person. So I do feel that for some of you guys, you are really going to be quite intrigued by someone. Um, someone is almost going to take your breath away, and you're really going to be interested in getting to know them. Uh, Capricorn uh, during the next six months and I feel that um, there is going to be a real affinity with you and that person I feel that it's almost like you and that person uh, at some point could share your own your own private little world because we do have that five of pentacles and that can as well as being a card of loss it can certainly mean be having a card of being a card of support because there are two people out on on, the, on their own out in the cold but they do have each other as support okay so I literally feel that for some of you guys who are getting into a new, fresh relationship, this is going to be a very supportive one. And it's because you're going to be traveling the same route together. You might have the same vision. Sometimes when you get the two of wands in a love reading, it can mean two people sharing the same vision and wanting to walk on the same path and sharing the same ideals. So I feel for some of you guys, you will be sharing the same ideals with another person. OK, I'm not saying that this relationship is going to be the relationship of the century. 
but for some of you guys I could see within these cards that uh, you will be sharing the same ideals with someone and it's literally going to be a relationship that's quite um, it's quite close where you share you share a real affinity with this person a real closeness um, I do feel for some of you guys especially if you um, are single you are going to be meeting someone potentially who's older as well because we do have the emperor card sitting here and i feel that this person will be in a position to offer you something great or open doors for you because we have the page of pentacles showing here whenever you get this card sometimes in love reading it means opportunities opening up to you somebody comes in and they're offering you opportunities they're offering you expansion um, they're offering you something new, something shiny. They're offering you something to build on. And we do have the Emperor, which is a number four major arcana card. And this is all about foundations and uh, stability and um, feeling abundant and feeling really settled in something. So I do feel that potentially that some of you guys are going to have doors opened for you in terms of relationships through potentially an older man. Um I feel for some of you guys, though, you will be afraid to take a risk as well. Some of you guys will take that risk. But I'm seeing that some of you guys are going to be afraid to take a risk as well. So it's kind of half and half. We see death. So there's changes coming in. OK. There's changes in relationships coming in. And I, I, I did say to you guys that I felt for some of you guys who might be in a committed relationship, you might be looking to. Um, you might be looking to, you know try other things out in terms of maybe other relationships other people you know looking at other uh, opportunities with other people that type of thing but i feel that um for some of you guys you have to be wary as well who you try stuff out with because uh for some of you guys you might literally still be in love with your partner but if you decide just on a whim as the page of wands does just to go off on a whim and do something uh, without thinking about it i think you could regret it so I feel for any of you guys who potentially want some breathing space from a relationship, you don't want to completely end it, but you do want some breathing space. I would say, um, I would say, be careful of who you actually get yourself involved with. Okay, this is for the people who know that their relationship is on its last legs, or they know that they need breathing space. Uh, I would say not to jump into anything too quickly with anyone. Um, Simply because we have the death card, which is an ending card. And we've also got the full card, which is you've made the wrong choice. The full card in reverse is where you've made the wrong decision on something. Okay, The full upright uh, means you take a leap of faith. Okay, And it's all kind of good. The full when it's uh, in the reverse means that you could literally make a mistake doing something. Uh, and this is through the death card. It's through a change that happens. It's through the ending. Okay, So... You've made a change. Some of you guys will literally, I feel, in your relationships, make changes, especially if the relationships aren't working out the way that you want them to. It might be that you choose not to see, so, you know, you choose just to take a bit of breathing space, but then you make a mistake or there's a wrong turning through that ending or through that change, through that transformation. So you literally not completely end. I don't feel that you guys are going to be completely ending a relationship. If you are, then yes, death completely resonates. It completely represents you. So there is an ending happening here or there is a transformation. Death doesn't always mean complete and utter ending. It simply means transitioning to something else. Sometimes a door can still be open, but there is a space in between the door being opened and, you, and, and things ending where there is a transition holding period, I feel. Maybe the hanged man should be there or something. But I feel that I just see this as a transitional period with the death card. But through that transition, you seem to make a mistake with the full card for some of you guys. And it leads to this. Ten of swords. OK, and I don't like the look of the ten of swords underneath the full card because it suggests to me that this is something potentially you may have uh, done to yourself or you might not have looked at something properly enough or you might have just gone off on a whim and done something i'm sensing that with some of you guys this year um we have temperance card it can often mean uh, a renewal in a relationship coming back together with someone in a relationship um But it can also mean the combining of two people. It can also be a very sexual card as well. The temperance card can in a love reading. Uh, so I feel that you guys and I'm also looking at, funnily enough, how the full 
in reverse seems to look over at the strength card almost like there has been some kind of sexual encounter here for some of you guys who potentially are already still in a relationship but you're just having your breathing space okay uh, and you're looking at it upside down. The fool is looking at it upside down. So it's almost like, oops, I made a mistake here. So some of you guys could be uh, in the frame for kind of doing something maybe behind a partner's back with that Ten of Swords. I would be very wary of that, to be honest with you, because we also have the Seven of Swords present in the reading. Uh, so I, what I would say for some of you guys who are already committed, but maybe needing your breathing space, I wouldn't be so ready just to go out there and look to jump into bed with someone else or look to get into something cosy with someone else straight away. I would give it time. Um, but it's funny that that fool, the fool is not upright. So it's not like you could say there has been a, a new experience through an ending, a new positive experience. It's in the reverse which suggests that this experience or the steps that have been taken to creating something uh, was not thought about. Well, the fool doesn't really think it just goes. It's all about newness and just go, go, go. But it's more like you did something and it, it didn't have a, a great effect or it didn't have the desired effect on, on something here. Um, so if you've committed, but you're in a relationship where it's kind of not going great and you need some breathing space, I feel that this reading is saying be really careful Um you know, around who you are kind of open with and how quickly you're open with someone, such um, Capricorn, okay? This is what I'm sensing here with the reading. Um, and also, we've got the Magician and the Seven of Swords in the reading. Two cards can signify a trickster. So be careful of kind of getting involved with people that you hardly know, okay? If you're on a kind of a little bit of time out with your current partner in the next six months. Just be really careful about that. Um, I'm also sensing for some of you guys that you could be involved in a love triangle potentially because we do have uh, two court cards at either side of this Three of Swords. So for some of you guys, there may literally be some form of uh, love triangle because we have the Page of Pentacles as well as the King of Pentacles at either side of that Three of Swords. Okay. So for some of you guys, it could literally be that you meet an older man and a younger man. And there is um, there is difficulty in choosing. I feel that there will be difficulty for some of you guys, especially if you're single as well, in choosing a mate. Because we do have this full card in reverse. And this can also in reverse, for me, simply mean not wanting to kind of take a leap of faith with anything. Not wanting to take a risk with something. Because you're afraid, okay? Um... You're afraid of commitment or you're afraid of kind of committing to either one of them. So for some of you guys, you might even play around with a couple of people is what is what I'm sensing here. Because I'm looking at the full in reverse, looking over at the strength card and right behind that strength card is the seven of swords. So I am feeling that maybe for some of you guys, you could have two people maybe on the go uh, in the next six months, Capricorn. Sounds like, whoa, but this is what I'm seeing in the cards. I do feel that some of you guys are going to um, potentially have two people on the go and you might kind of uh, consider, you know, just playing the field a little bit even. Um, I am also sensing in the next six months, Capricorn, that uh, some of you guys are going to be meeting a very wonderful person, very strong very uh, confident, very, very successful because we have the magician card here. OK, the magician can also denote whether you're male or female, a really strong, really confident, really in control individual. OK, and I feel that they're going to open new life to you. All right. I feel that this magician is the emperor. I'm sensing that this magician is the same person as the emperor. OK, they're both very astute individuals. They're both authoritarian. They're both in very successful jobs. Um, they're both older people a lot of the time, um, especially the Emperor, obviously. But what I notice is uh, after those two cards, we've got after the Emperor, the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is the new opportunity. And as the Emperor is the clarifier, it looks to me like the Emperor is offering you a new opportunity for some of you Capricorns. So an older man could be offering you, uh, you know, a great life or opportunities that come benefits perks that come with being in a relationship with this person um 
And with the Magician card, we see the first card that was pulled before the Magician was the Ace of Pentacles. So this is something new, grounded. It could be a new home. Again, you're being offered some form of an opportunity, some form of a, a realistic, grounded opportunity in love. So you're something, um, what's the word? You're being offered something that is more permanent. That's what I'm trying to say. So you're being offered something that is quite permanent. And it's through this magician. So this person has a lot of control. They're very successful. And I feel that for some of you guys, you are going to be offered something quite permanent in terms of a relationship with someone in the next six months. OK, so a rock solid permanent relationship, I feel. Uh, there's lots going on in terms of love. And I just like to kind of look at these cards unless I see a definite, definite theme running through, which I can do. I see several themes running through for for uh, the love readings for the zodiac sign. So um for some of you guys, yes, I am seeing you taking breathing space out. If you're in a committed relationship that's kind of a little bit kind of, uh, you know, on its last legs at the moment, or you need breathing space or you're not communicating very well or there's difficulty in communication with your partner. I am seeing some of you guys taking time out in the next six months. OK, uh, I'm also seeing some of you guys might make a mistake whilst taking that breathing space out, that breathing time. And it might be something that you regret. OK. And it might be something that you even try and um, conceal to a certain point. Uh, I am seeing some of you guys maybe playing a couple of people. Younger man, older man. OK. Um, and having a good time kind of doing that. Um, I am seeing some regret for some of you guys. If you are have taken a break from your partner and you kind of go with somebody else. I am seeing an older man offering opportunities to some of you guys, an older person. And I am seeing uh, potentially a permanent relationship coming in for quite a few of you Capricorns as well, offered by someone who is quite uh, strong, quite in the know. Uh, he's the magician. He's got everything at his disposal to create a wonderful existence for you. OK, wonderful home wonderful environment wonderful opportunities okay so i feel that this is a really good month for capricorn uh th six months sorry in terms of capricorn okay for love all right um don't want you to worry too much if you're in a committed relationship and things aren't going you know the way that you want them to go at the moment capricorn because everything can be worked on um but some of you, I feel, will literally be feeling really kind of defeated over a relationship. OK, You've, you, it looks to me for some of you guys, you may have worked it, worked at it and worked at it and worked at it until you get to a point where you're like, you know, I just really need space from this relationship. And that's if you're with someone. If you're not with anyone, I'm seeing a, a couple of very successful men. Could be the same man, could be a couple of uh, different men, but I'm seeing some really successful men coming through. And uh, um, men or women, because it is a general reading, coming through a really successful, authoritative individual coming through and giving you, you know, it's like the world is your oyster. So they're offering you something. They're offering you really good opportunities in terms of lifestyle, um, in terms of a permanent grounded relationship. Uh, and I feel that you're going to be the wings beneath this person's uh, the wind between this per beneath this person's wings because we do have the strength card and this is a woman who really is in her element she's the one that controls the guy okay so this guy i feel would be a real catch a real catch for some of you capricorns going forward in the next six months okay uh i would be careful of playing anyone i'm seeing ca some capricorns playing a couple of people be very very careful of that one because uh, I feel that you could regret what you do with it because you haven't kind of you've just gone and done something without really considering the consequences for it. Um, and I feel it, it will be of some regret afterwards. OK, but other than that, it's just a wonderful, wonderful reading. And uh, thank you for joining me on Carol's Universe. And I will see you guys on your March 2016 forecast. Take care, Capricorn. Bye bye.